As Benedict matches wits with Minister Exam at Castle Woolfort, and Roland risks the wrath of the Archduke at Twinsgate, Frederica embarks on her own mission. Under the false banner of the Consortium, she hides her forces, marching steadily toward the Hyzantian Holy State. With the aid of Claris, she aims to gain entrance into the Source, that she might lead her people from their prison. Meanwhile, in the Rosellan village, Jerome has gathered his people to share the news of Frederica's exploits. Everyone, listen well. We've received a missive from Lady Frederica. It seems House Wolford has made good on their word and taken the first steps toward a new future for Norzelia. Even now, Lady Frederica marches for the Source, where she intends to free our brothers and sisters from their prison. So bold for one so young. Truly, she is her mother's daughter. In her letter, she outlines the details of her plan. The road ahead of her is trying, but not impossible. However, she warns that failure may incite Hyzant's wrath, and asks that we flee for our own safety. Even now, she has only our best interests at heart. Were this letter to fall into the wrong hands, the results would be grave indeed. She risked much to warn us. What should we do, my lord? Prepare to flee? Yes, at once. But I do not ask all of you to flee. Lady Frederica risks life and limb for us all. I would not let her do so alone. I intend to go to her. Whatever danger she may face, we face it together. You may meet with the full wrath of Hyzant. Are you ready for that? Aye. And I welcome any who are of the same mind to join me. I ask the rest to watch well over those who would stay behind. If we do not return, I ask you to survive. To live. These bones aren't too brittle for another fight. It's time to pay the debt we owe the Wolfords. I'm with you. Norzelia will sing of the courage of the Roselle. We ain't letting you take all the glory, Jerome. You're gonna have to share it around. The village will be in good hands while you're away. We won't let anyone do us harm. Thank you, my friends. Those who would fight, take up your weapons and march. We make for Hyzant at once. Aye! I suspect soon we shall have a bird from Minister Exham bearing good news. It shan't be long before the mines are under our dominion. That's not my worry. I wonder whether the wall forts will obey. They owe us their lives, and more besides. They wouldn't dare scorn all the Hierophant has given them. Even if they have no great love for our nation? Even if they've cast aspersions on our past deeds? I advise you to be cautious with your words. You edge dangerously close to heresy, and not even one of the saintly seven is immune from the goddess's judgment. Of course. My apologies. Pray, forget my foolishness. So long as you understand. That being said, the Wolforts have but recently come into their station, and the inexperienced often reach beyond their grasp. Where are you going? To ensure the city is in order. My intuition tells me something wicked stirs within her streets. My long years have attuned me to her pulse, and I can tell when it has quickened. I'll handle the guards. Don't move a muscle, any of you. Don't even breathe.
Hail. I am Claris of the Consortium. I bring goods for trade in the city, if you'll give me leave to pass. Claris! Consortium's working you hard. In these dangerous times, tis a privilege to be in such good employ. But you worked even harder than I. Here. A small token of my appreciation. <laughs> you always have been a thoughtful man. Go on, then. Wait! We cannot allow unscheduled goods into the city without inspection! <sighs> Fine. Guess there's no such thing as being too careful. <sighs> you needn't worry. Minister Kamsel of the Saintly Seven sent for these goods himself. He did? Oh, yes. Look closely, and you'll see. What have you done? Ah, you snake! I must call for reinforcements! Claris, are you all right? My apologies. Luckily, mine was the only face they saw. Allow me to distract the troops. Use the opportunity to sneak into the source, my lady. Don't forget the explosives we packed away, either. We'd make poor guests without them. You're going alone? You risk too much. Ah, my lady. But you do not become a merchant of my standing without a little risk. Pray save your worry for yourself. I've wagered quite a great deal on your success, after all. And I abhor calculating losses. Thank you, Claris. I promise this arrangement will give cause to celebrate before long.
My fellow Roselle, I am Frederica Esfrost, daughter of Orlea, who led you and your forebears from the bonds of servitude 30 years ago. I knew I recognized you from somewhere. You're the spitting image of her. What's Lady Orlea's flesh and blood doing in this goddess-forsaken prison? I am here to free you from it. I would see the end of Hyzant's tyranny alongside my betrothed, Lord of House Wolfort. Rise up and join us. Hyzant wavers even now, and the Rizal can be the gust of wind that topples them from their lofty heights. You speak like her too. Same heartfelt words. But look where those got us. We were lucky enough to be spared our lives once. They won't be so generous a second time. We're still paying for our sins. For thinking the salt of the realm could be ours. The goddess will forgive us. She will. We only need suffer a short while longer. Suffer? No. Don't swallow those lies. Enough. Minister Kamsel! Claris, are you- I'm sorry, my lady. I couldn't get away. He has more resolve than a common merchant has a right to. Better men have broken under lesser interrogations than his. Still, I can always smell a rat. It was only a matter of time before I caught the stench of rebellion. Lead by none other than the Lady Frederica. I knew you could not change your nature. Your punishment shall be a lesson to your fellow sinners, just as your mother's once was. I should have known it was futile to resist. Forgive us, Goddess. It wasn't us that sinned. No, it wasn't, and it never has been. The Rizal are guilty of naught but wanting the same freedom as others. You have been deceived by the Goddess's lies. If my strength of conviction is not plain enough through words, then let my actions speak for me! Heretics to the very last! Show them the full measure of the Goddess's wrath! By the goddess, I shall not let heretics defile her sacred land. At my back, today we purge the sickness from our home. Your cruelty has left the Roselle beaten and battered, bereft of the will even to anger at the injustice being done to them. However, today I will remind them. I will remind them they are worthy of more and reignite the courage within their hearts. Fight with me, friends. We march under the banner of freedom! Shall we? Is it my turn? <laughs> I shan't disappoint. Time to take flight.
My arrow flies true. The battle has only begun. Shall I? Feisty, aren't we? My turn. Give it a try. This should do the trick. <laughs> Thanks. Cool heads shall prevail. I shall repay you. I will end kind. this. So, it falls to me. Hmm. Shall we? Now then. Can you handle my might? My fist struck true. I must keep a clear mind. Can you handle this? Battle is ours. From this range, I don't pull my punches. Shall we? Now it's my turn. Get out of the way! My turn. They got me. shall prevail. Fear not, for I am by your side. Damn it all. Let's see now. This is the end. Another. I will end this. You won't fool me! Now then, to work. Free! Now then. Ah! There are always consequences. I'll try my best. Everything to me. Get out of the way. Ow, ow, ow. I'll do my best. Take that. I got careless. Kyle. 
battle ready! All right, here I go. Water, I beseech thee! This is Shall we begin? Be at ease. Much appreciated. I will end this. Now then. I don't pull my I'll try punches. My best. Now it's my turn. Here goes! It's all right through you. Ready or not, here I come! Whatever you can do! Oh. Let me give it a try. My turn. <laughs> Allow me. You will not. I don't pull my Allow punches. Me. Cool heads shall prevail. Your wounds are healed. Now then, to work. Come on! Shall we? I, Kamzal Farrant, shall carry out her justice in her stead. Per there! How embarrassing. Do you intend to follow your mother to her grave? Perhaps your fate was decided long before you were born. No. I intend to realize the future she could not. The Rizal shall be free. Free? You speak as if they were held here by force. They are here by the grace of divine will to answer for their sins. Listen, they want to be here. They want to cleanse their souls! This battle is ours. I should. Right there. Allow me. this. Two actions. 
Cool heads shall prevail. Be at ease. I appreciate it. This battle is ours. So, it falls to me. Feisty, aren't we? enemies I will end this with the powers in me shall we begin be at ease <laughs> Thanks. the hunt is on to me I see through you. here goes can you handle this leave everything to me here goes no why would you give them the strength and not I what lesson do you mean to teach My age is catching up with me. This ends here. Let the show begin! <laughs> Let's see now. This is the end. Here I come. Try this. I must keep a clear mind. Can you handle this? My turn. I fight for peace. a saint to his knees and in our name have we won is freedom at hand but the goddess our sins will never be cleansed if we leave we'll forever bear the brand of thieves there are no sins to answer for there never were they were lies just as the rest of the goddess's teachings i've read the legends put to parchment by my mother the Roselle never sought to hoard the salt for their own. No. They meant to use it for the good of one and all. They meant to share the salt crystals with every nation. It was Hyzant who sought to hide the crystals from the world. It is they who bear the sin of greed. I've heard this story before. From Lady Orlea's lips. But it's just a legend, isn't it? A legend doesn't prove her teachings false. Not without proof, leastways. There is proof. It's been here this entire time. Ready the explosives. We must destroy the statue.
All set here, my lady. Just give... Look well, my people. Behold the truth of the teaching's deception. Behold the lies of the goddess. The statue! What? What is that? There's something inside. What is that? A pillar? It's a salt crystal. A huge one. Now do you see? Our forebears brought this bounty from the Earth to share it with the world. This is the salt pillar from the legend. To all the peoples of Norzelia, we bequeath a great pillar of salt. It's just as our ancestors said, carved right here into the crystal. This crystal was meant to be a boon to all, but Hysand stole it and hid it away. They blamed us for their greed. All this time we've been paying for the sins of another. The so-called truths of the church were not but twisted versions of reality. Just so. This statue was as hollow as the goddess herself, not but a pretty facade to hide an unspeakable sin. A sin that Hyzant must now answer for. A sin that the Hierophant must reconcile. What is the meaning of this? The statue! What have you done? The heretics desecrate our holy land! Heathens, you will pay for this. Kill them all! No! They come in numbers, my lady. We'll be surrounded before long. We've come too far to submit now. I won't leave my people behind. Lady Frederica fought for us, and now we must fight for her! She aims to free us. But now... We must free ourselves. Let's walk out of here, hand in hand. Two arms, everyone. Pick up what you can find. Today we bid farewell to the source. Aye! My lord, the North Gate is under attack. Our soldiers cannot hold it. They ask for reinforcements at once. What? What banner does our foe fly? No banner, my lord. It's an army of Roselle. At their head is a youth named Jerome. He's spouting heresy, claiming he'll free his brethren from their bonds. He came. Jerome is here. Fortune smiles upon us, my lady. Where they once surrounded us, now they are beset on all sides. We have an opportunity. Everyone, to the North Gate! We will join with Jerome and escape the capital! Aye! Goddess, protect me! 